Hello everyone, I'm currently wearing a funny hat. I decided to make a little update because I just finished watching a playthrough or a walkthrough or whatever you want to call it of Kingdom Hearts 358 slash 2 days. Now, going into seeing this playthrough, I kept an open mind and tried not to be biased in my honest liking of the character of Zion or Xion or however you want to call it. It's still kind of hard for me to really pronounce it right. Anyway, I watched it all from the very first second to the very last moment. And I've gotta say, the game, the game was just wow. The game was pretty, pretty cool. Um. Nice choice of worlds. Pretty good use for me. Uh, my only real problem with Burbite, uh, uh, I mean, uh, my only real problem with 358 slash 2 days is, well, the dialogue. Not that the dialogue was bad or anything, don't get me wrong, it was very good. It was moving, but I really wish that you know um, they talked more, like in Kim Hearts 2. Instead, we just had to read the what they say in the boxes. That's their names. I I know most of you are like, "What are you lazy? Come on!" It's not like it'll take you forever to read this thing. Well, yeah, but I'm more of a visual and listening kind of guy. When I watch a game, or well, I play it, I like listening to the voices. It would have been really cool to have to listen to what the guys are saying. The guys, well, the guys and the girls, considering we have three girls in the game. Uh, from the non-distant world. My favorite characters in the game had to be Axel, Roxas, and Xion. The protagonists of the game. And I've gotta say, I was really surprised that we got to hear about Axel's real name. You know, the name he had when for the somebody. And it was surprising to me to know that he and Syax were friends. That was like, whoa, what the hell? I mean, Axel and Syax. Axel and Syax. Axel, Syax. Now try putting them as friends together in your own minds. It's not working, you know? It was really surprising, but I've gotta say, it was still pretty good. To a pretty surprise there. Sometimes the uh, opposite attract this friendship. The game answered some questions, but but also questions for more answers. If you know what I mean, you really were left wanting more. In a positive way. So basically, I'm pretty happy with the game. The development of Axel, Roxas, and Hyun into. Well, we know Axel and Roxas being an artist to Hyun, it was pretty good. I remember a while back when Hyun was announced. I remember how many people were bitching about it, you know, like. Oh no, she's gonna kill Akuraku! Great Xion! This is not Organization 14, this is Organization 13! And stuff like that. Well, obviously, Xamnus explained that she's not a real member, she's a puppet. A pretty cute, affectionate, adorable, colorful little puppet. But a puppet nonetheless. 
so don't worry, Akurok fan bitches and fans and whatever people who are paranoid about Akurogu. One character can never ruin a fandom. It's pro I mean, Rule 34 can never be broken. No matter how much I pray that it does. I guess, it, maybe because I'm an atheist, it, it's like that. Anyway, yeah, I really enjoyed the game. It was, it was touching. It left me to tears by the end. Man. You know, this really got me hyped for Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. I don't have a PSP. I, I mean, we used to have one, but we sold it. Now I'm kind of regretting selling it, but oh well. Well, that's it basically for me. If I had to rate this game, I would say Kingdom Hearts 358 slash 2 days is basically 8.5 on my scale from 1 to 10. With 10 being the best. It was a great game and left you wanting more. I am Rory 1. And I'm currently wearing a funny hat.